So before we pose our question, uh, we would like to explain why and how Shell must fall. Uh, as long as you remain a company that is dedicated to maximizing profit and short-term shareholder value, we know you will not keep fossil fuels in the ground. We know you won't decommission your own infrastructure, nor provide a fair transition for workers, nor compensate damaged communities, nor repair the countless ecosystems that your operations have devoured. So this is why Shell must fall. But don't worry, we're not gonna question you on any of these things today. Instead, we are here to announce that our coalition is determined to make you, Royal Dutch Shell, fall by any legal, economic, or political means necessary. We hereby commit to canceling any future shareholder meetings and call upon allies, society, and the government to dismantle you. We will tax you, regulate you, split you up, socialize you, nationalize you, expropriate you, prosecute you, and bankrupt you. And while we make your dirty business inoperable, we will make sure to build a clean, affordable, and just energy democracy. So you see, today is a historic day, because today you are witnessing the last ever Shell AGM. <laughs> so, in, because in the midst of a climate emergency, the last thing that we need is the shareholders of a gas and an oil giant who no offense, are probably not going to be alive by the time we get to the end of the energy transition. So, I'm getting there. You can, you can be patient. Thank you. Many people in the world have been patient with Shell. I ask that you be patient. So, we say may 2020 be the first year without a Shell AGM. Excuse me. Excuse me, please. I'm, I'm getting to my question. Yeah, yeah, look, we owe this woman respect. To, to listen to her statements, no matter how disrespectful her statements may be. So we, uh, it is not her... disrespectful to ask for climate justice. It is our duty to save our planet. It is our duty to hold you accountable. It is our duty to listen how you, shareholders, find profit more important than people. Let her speak. If you do not want to listen to your conscience, she will speak. Excuse you will hear me, what she me, has to say you would be because quiet. this she is the truth. Okay. Shell has been denying climate science since 1992. Let the woman speak. Thank you. Now, you can finish your comments, but try to be brief. We've given you a lot of time. Yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you. So. We wanted to finish out and saying that perhaps you and clearly people in this room may look down on us and you may believe that your empire is too big to fail or too big to fall. Um, but at some point, so did the monarchs and the aristocrats. And so it is time not just for you to be on the right side of history. Uh, it is time for your business model to become history. Uh, and so really the only question that we have for the board uh, and also for the shareholders is that since there will be no more AGMs, how are you planning to spend your free day next year?